After the Regency Hotel shooting, notorious mobsters Daniel Kinahan and Thomas Bomber Kavanaugh, who was David Byrne's brother-in-law, formed a deadly alliance in early 2017. Their plan was to eliminate James Mago Gately, an associate of the Hutch Gang, making him their primary target. Although their partnership seemed promising, their carefully planned operation went horribly wrong, leading to the loss of their most trusted lieutenants. On April 3, 2017, an EasyJet flight from Alicante to Dublin landed. A tall, handsome man with bright blue eyes and long gray hair, looking like he belonged in a movie, stepped off the plane. Dressed in combat trousers and hiking boots, carrying a backpack with a rolled-up tent mattress, he appeared to be a tourist ready for a holiday in Ireland. However, this man was actually an Estonian hitman named Imre Arakas on a mission to kill. The story of Imre Arakas, known as The Butcher, began when he arrived in Dublin. On board the flight were several agents from the Irish Criminal Investigation Department who kept a close watch on him. Observers at Dublin Airport and a waiting arrest team followed him in a white Mercedes. The next morning, armed police raided the house where Arrakis was staying, arresting him and putting an end to his criminal activities. Arrakis, born in Estonia in 1958, was known for his brutality. He was once an actor, wrestler, and freedom fighter, but gained notoriety as a violent criminal during Estonia's post-Soviet gang wars. In 1977, he made headlines for spray-painting government buildings and police stations as a political activist. Although he was arrested and later released thanks to his drama teacher's defense, he would later become one of the most feared hitmen in the world. In the 1980s, Arakas and an accomplice robbed a shooting club, stealing handguns and ammunition. The robbery was seen as an act of rebellion against the communist regime. They attempted to flee to Sweden, but were caught by the Coast Guard. Arakas managed to escape briefly, but was eventually recaptured and sentenced to 15 years in a harsh Siberian prison. After his release in 1992, Arakas, now hardened by prison, joined the Estonian Defense League, a group that combined politics and crime. They engaged in drug trafficking and targeted Russians, committing numerous attacks and murders, earning him the nickname the Butcher. In 1996, Arakas moved to Marbella, Spain, where he tried to live a quieter life with his family. Despite this, his past caught up with him, and he survived two attacks in Spain in 1998 and 2001. The second attack on Imre Arakas in Spain was a close call. He barely escaped from a frantic gunman. Two Estonians were later jailed for that shooting. During this time, Arakas teamed up with criminal groups like the Kinahan clan, agreeing to take on their assignments for payment. He is suspected of being involved in several murders across Europe, including the 2015 killing of Daimantas Bugavicius, a Lithuanian drug dealer who was involved with a famous pop star. Bugavicius, who was 26, was shot 12 times in November 2015. Years later, the Kinahan clan was engaged in a violent feud with the Hutch family. In February 2016, there was an attempt on Daniel Kinahan's life during a boxing weigh-in at the Regency Hotel in Dublin. Although Daniel survived, his associate David Byrne was killed. The Kinahans believed that James Gately, a prominent Hutch associate and kickboxer, was behind the attack and decided to target him in return. They wanted to avoid a repeat of the 2016 mistake where Martin Doyle, an innocent father, was accidentally killed by a drug addict's stray bullet. To handle the situation, the Kinahans hired professional hitmen, including Arakas, to kill Gately. Arakas, who owed the Kinahans money, was promised 100,000 euros for the job, which would help reduce his debt. However, international authorities tipped off the Irish police about Arakas' arrival. The police set up surveillance, leading to Arakas' arrest. When the police raided Arakas' hideout, they found papers with Gately's address and instructions on how to find his photo online. Arakas' Blackberry was also seized, revealing encrypted messages that included his murder instructions. A clever Garda officer managed to photograph these messages before they were remotely deleted. 
the messages showed that Arakas planned to kill Gately in his garage. In December 2018, Arakas was sentenced to six years in prison after a brief trial in Ireland for conspiring to murder Gately. He was initially held in a maximum security prison, but was later transferred. In October 2018, he suffered a stroke and received a pacemaker. By early 2023, after completing his sentence in Ireland, Arrakis was extradited to Lithuania to face trial for his role in Bogovicius's murder. Lithuanian authorities claim that Arrakis supplied handguns and cleaning chemicals used in the shooting. Back in Ireland, the Kinahan cartel struggled with the fallout from their failed attempt on Gately's life. The botched hit not only failed to eliminate their rival, but also exposed critical parts of their operations. One key member, Douglas Glynn, who managed the cartel's drug warehouse, was sentenced to eight years in prison. Police found a large stash of drugs and ammunition in his warehouse. New technology had helped the guardee trace Glynn through encrypted messages that showed he received instructions directly from Daniel Kinahan. So who is Douglas Glynn, and how did the guardee uncover his role? Glynn, a 37-year-old father of three from Dublin's north inner city, was loyal to Kinahan despite the area's association with the Hutch family. Although Glynn was a lesser-known figure in the Kinahan cartel, his role was crucial. Douglas Glynn was a quintessential wooden old Mr. Nobody, someone deeply trusted by the Kinahan cartel, especially by Daniel Kinahan himself. Yet he managed to stay off the radar and out of the media spotlight. He functioned as a key manager for the cartel, remaining in Ireland to oversee operations while prominent figures fled to Dubai, Spain, or faced arrest. Despite the cartel's reduced visibility at the time, it continued major drug operations, and Glynn was responsible for the day-to-day -day management of a secret drug storehouse. Advances in encryption technology eventually revealed that Daniel Kinahan was in direct contact with Glynn regarding the storehouse operations. Although Kinahan claimed to be a legitimate businessman, he used encrypted phones to coordinate with Glynn while waging a feud against the Hutch family. The secret depot was raided in March 2017 after surveillance had been set up. Prior investigations had already raised suspicions about Glynn, leading to a search warrant executed on March 31st. Inside the storehouse, the Guardi discovered 1.5 million euros worth of drugs and over 330 rounds of ammunition. It is believed that millions in drugs had passed through the depot before its discovery. As part of the investigation into a failed assassination attempt on James Gately, the Garda National Drugs and Organized Crime Bureau, GNB, found Glynn's BlackBerry. This device revealed his connection to the depot and direct communications with Kinahan and other senior cartel members in Dubai. One day after Glynn installed a tracking device on Gately's car, the depot was uncovered. Although the phones were seized in 2017, new technology in February 2021 enabled their decryption. It was revealed that Kinahan used the codename BON to communicate with Glynn, who was managing the depot and giving out instructions. Glynn was sentenced to eight years in prison for his role in managing the depot, having pleaded guilty to conspiracy involving drugs and ammunition. His brother Anthony and associate EMT Fogey, who received a five-year sentence in 2018, were also implicated. A message from Anthony Glynn to Douglas described Fogey's panic over the size of the boxes at the depot, which were too large to be moved by one person. This was Glynn's second prison sentence from the same court. He was already serving a 6.5-year sentence for his involvement in the failed murder plot against Gately. The court had noted the seriousness and sophistication of the criminal organization Glynn was associated with, the Kinahan Cartel. Daniel Kinahan, who had remained in Dubai for nearly a year after the U.S. government imposed sanctions and a bounty on him, is still being pursued by investigators. They hope to charge him with directing organized criminal activities. And that's a wrap on today's deep dive into the turbulent events surrounding the Kinahan cartel and their failed attempt on James Mago Gately's life. From the botched operation involving the infamous hitman Imre Arakas, to the unraveling of Douglas Glynn's critical role in the cartel's drug operations, it's clear that 2017 was a year of significant upheaval for the Kinahans. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on this topic? 
Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content.